welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be creating my own set of colors i was just thinking if i wanted to create a set of yellow tones what colors would i pick just the whole thought process for that this is not anything serious but if i was to create a set of yellow colors these are the colors i would pick even though i want it to be a monochromatic color scheme i want to add like maybe two or three blues in this set that's going to make the yellow stand out and just be a nice set i think i have a lot of yellow colors so that's why i picked yellow hopefully hopefully i'm able to create 24 if not I'll just do less than that but let's go ahead and take a look at the markers. All right, so these are the markers we're going to be using in today's video. I just decided to go with Uhuhu because I have the most colors in this set here. Like I have Copic markers, but I don't have that many Copic markers to create a whole set of like just yellow tones. And Uhuhu has a nice range. So I'm going to pick out all the yellows in here and my other sets as well. Randomly just gonna pick out yellows. We got that so far. Okay, so this is what I have to work with. Let me zoom out so we can have everything in there. There we go. So I want to have some light, medium, and dark tones. So I'm going to see all of the light yellows I can pick from here. So these are the lightest yellow colors I have here. And now I want to get some mid-tones. This is a mid-tone. All right, and these are my mid-tones. I wish I had more, but I think this will do. And now, for the darker tones, I'm gonna go with these. They do look a little bit on the brown side. This is what I'm gonna go with. They're not completely yellow, but they do have a hint of that yellow. I'm guessing that's why they're all like Y. Except this one, that's BR2. <laughs> we'll keep that one in there. Okay, so now that we have our light, medium and dark tones i'm gonna pick eight colors on each tone and then the last eight will be like accent colors let me see this one this one is yr030 that one's on the pink side so we won't be using that <gasps> these are not as light as i would want them to be i was really hoping to get some lighter colors these are not as light as i'd want them to be let's see this copic marker ah like that would have been nice to just start off the set i need something like this i need something like this mm, that's too bad this would have been so perfect to start off with let's see you this one has some potential mm, nope <laughs> i thought it would maybe if it, maybe i let it dry and see it's a little bit muddy it's not as bright as that so yeah the lightest yellow i have is in this copic marker here oh it doesn't have anything that compares to it at this moment so i'll just have to settle for what i have here maybe that would be the lightest i could have from this set y zero thirty all right now we're making some progress <sighs> pretty nice color i like how that looks so that's g y one, seven, three. These are my light tones. Don't those look good? I think, I think I'm on a good track so far. Okay, now for my mid-tones. This one is white too, but I think they're a bit too similar. So I don't know if I'll add that on the set. See, now this, these two. This is nice. Y, R, six. I'll probably just move this around here. And these are my mid-tones. I think that's a nice range too. And now for my darker tones, this is Y9. I might end up changing the placement as well. I don't know if I want that color. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna take this one out. It's just, it's way too orange and it's just, it's very bright. I like this one. This one is YR205. So we got our dark tones, mid tone and light tones on here. Now, how would I organize this? Okay, actually, before we do that, we have to pick eight more colors that are accent colors. 
I just pulled up the color wheel because I want to get the complementary color to yellow. And that's going to be the purples. I think this color would be so nice on this set here. I'm going to grab some blue. Because I do think blue looks really good with the yellow. I think this is a nice accent color, right? Yeah, this, this will be cute. See, this color just works really well with these colors up here. That is R24. And then for my last two colors, I decided to just add some green. So now we're gonna make the color sheet. I'm going to change some of the placement of these. I'm just gonna test out the accent colors and see if they actually look good. Just to make sure they're not too overpowering. A mid-tone here. And now for her skin tone. She's gonna be so yellow. I'm gonna add this in so I can just use it as blush. I think I think this set will work. I just wanted to make sure that the the color accents won't take away from the yellow. colors are pretty good they're not that bad so this is what I was able to do her arm looks so weird but <laughs> let's just just look at her face she's cute all right so let's go ahead and organize these colors from like light to dark on our color sheet okay so this is the color swatch page if I wanted to create a set of eight colors, I would go with this here. If I wanted to create a set of 16 colors, I would go with this. And a set of 24 yellow colors, this is what I choose. And if I decide to add some accent colors, I would add that. So yeah, that is my set of 24 colors plus their accent colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we'll be coloring in today's video. Here is the line art I did. I will have this available for you guys to color. So the first coloring I'm gonna do is just me using my 24 set. And then I'll do another one using the accent colors to see if we really need these accent colors. We'll see what difference the accent colors do to this. We'll start off just using the 24 colors.
here is the final piece of me just using the 24 yellow colors. I think it turned out pretty good. I was trying very hard not to reach for these accent colors. So let's go ahead and do the other drawing. Let's go ahead and include the accent colors on this one here. So let's go. And this is what it looks like with the accent colors and everything. I did use a lot of blue on my hair and purple in the skin. Here's the accent color and then without the accent color. Not that much of a big difference. It's kind of just preference on which one you like more. So do we really need the accent colors? No. So we can just have a set of 24 colors. And we'll have a piece that comes out similar to this. Or if we want a bit more pizzazz, we add in that accent color. So 32 versus 24. <laughs> but yeah. Alright you guys, so that is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, thanks for watching.